All right. Greetings, Shiners. Welcome, welcome to a new Shiners episode here at One Success Mindset. I'm Dr. Shine, and I just want to tap in and share some information and share that you are beautiful. You are awesome. You are victorious. You know, through whatever challenge you're facing, whatever you're going through, no, you are not alone. So listen, Shiners, I want to let you know, if I had something to talk about today specifically, it would be following the script that the Most High has given us. Because in that prompt, we can handle any situation, no matter what the circumstances is. You know, um, I just got finished watching a judge show where this man was given Mr. Little. He was given time after time after time to get his life together, to get his life right. And for some apparent reason, Mr. Little just wasn't doing what he needed to do to be on probation. He uses his age and he uses his disability as a reason not to try to empower himself. But like that judge told him, no matter what another person wants for another person, if that person is not willing to accept it, then guess what? That person is wasting that other individual's time, period, period. So she also made mention that sometimes when people are trying to get their lives together, what happens is we realize that (laughs) we want to make the change. It's time for us to elevate and get through and grow and mature. But there's still going to be those times where we're going to have to pay the piper for the consequences that was done during our un- availability, sleep state, or during our time of, you know, uh, unconscious awareness, or during that time when we was causing all kind of hell and havoc in our lives and hurting other people and misusing and abusing the system and, you know, doing the things that got us where we were. So when it's time to pay the piper, don't act like you don't owe anything. You know, don't sit back and say that, oh, now is the time to just say, you know, I learned my lesson. You know, I learned my lesson well. Because guess what? Mr. Little, he had nothing to say to that judge other than the fact that I'm sorry, I'm trying to make a change in my life. But if you're trying to make a change in your life, Mr. Little, why not just go ahead and do what is required of you to do? You can even, if if you were, if part of your probation was to empower yourself to go through substance abuse uh, treatment, all you had to do was call a substance abuse counselor and get on the telephone counseling services. You didn't even have to leave your home. I mean, where does these, where do people feel that they have the benefit to throw their rocks and disrespect people and disrespect the system, disrespect people trying to help other people. And then only to use it for an advantage that if they just did the next right thing, it would not even need to be a situation. You know, I know I'm, I'm disrupting those manipulators And those individuals on this channel that's listening, looking for something else only to find this. I know that I'm pissing you off. I'm pissing off your demons. Good. What if I am the light bringer? What if I am the chosen one? What if I am that I am? You came on here for a reason, so sit your ass down and listen. Now, also, if it has to do with preventing your shine and you know the script, it's time for you to pull yourself up out of it because your freedom is more valuable than anything that could be given, could be granted. Shiners, let me tell you, people will try to take the very thing that you honor the most, and it may not even be your money. It may be your energy. It may be your ability to give hope. They will try to take that opportunity from you. So it is up to us to be very mindful, to be very aware, to be very consciously driven in every action, every action and reaction. 
There is no need to play a role that we don't have to play. Because if you are in the right, Shiners, you know what's going to happen. You're going to go down this path and uh, things are going to... Things are going to become important to you. And when it comes to importance, you want to activate that. You want to act on that immediately. So when things become important to me, such as my freedom, such as my health, such as my wealth and my abundance, I'm going to do what I need to do. I'm going to send an all call shout out. I'm going to blow the whistle. I'm going to blow the whistle on the narcissist. I'm going to blow the whistle on the the supposed victim that is the manipulator. I'm going to let people know that technically what you're doing is trying to play like you're a victim, but you're doing all kind of superficial, unnecessary, undercover, underhanded, demonic things because the demon within you won't let you sit still. It won't let you go beyond the jealousy in which you hold within your heart. And for those who I'm speaking to, I'm speaking to. For those who are I'm not and you don't understand this, then you just keep it in the mental archive. Because let me tell you, the devil is coming this way. The devil only got a few tricks, but it plays on many, 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 many characters. It plays the game on many characters. So let me tell you, shiners. For those who are sitting there listening, trying to make sense of why this is happening, it's happening because these manipulative demonic forces within the mindsets of others are trying to stop you from being able to share your testimony, being able to be successful. These demons will go as far as trying to withhold money from you that you've already earned. Because guess what? What's yours can't be taken. What's yours can't be held up. You're going to get it from another source because the stream of universal emotion is so powerfully impacting until you're always going to get what you need right at the point, if not more, if not more. So gratitude is the attitude, right? Shiners, let me tell you, the principalities that's working within these demonic forces has no power when you own your rights to be who you are. When you own your sovereign rights to be one of the chosen one and you on this good side and you walk in that narrow path and you doing what the hell you supposed to do, all them weapons of mass destruction will end up being null and void. They will not be able to touch you. They will not be able to even put fear in you because the devil will show itself based upon the technology and the influx of what it is that they're doing. Silence is a very powerful tool. Now, someone can take and try to manipulate and use the system to get what it is that they want because they tr- they're trying to trigger you. But when you have exceeded and went beyond that, the spirit will work as a counsel and an attorney that will give you some signs and signals that will just show up everything. That will show up everything. And when it shows up, ooh, it shows out. It acts a fool. And little do you know, Shiners, when you walk in that path and you walk into the devil's den, you can walk out victoriously and all the lions have eaten, demolished, damaged, destroyed your enemy. Half the time, they never even show up. Shiners, let me tell you, have no fear. The power of the Most High is within you. And when you recognize that you were walking with your ancestors, I'm talking about the ones that will that that will slay on the spiritual on the spiritual realm. Anything that even thinks about trying to destroy your character, your name. And now I ain't talking about the manipulators who want to play victim. And once you, once these, once these demons start getting whooped in the, in, in the spiritual realm and they ass start burning like they got HIV and herpes and syphilis and gonorrhea scratching all over their body, gnashing, eating their own skin. 
That's when these demons want to play victim. That's when these devils want to play victim. But see, little do we know, these are not our friends. This is not our battle, and this is not our circus, and these are not our clowns. We are only to be here to observe. There is no reason to defame a person's name, character, trait, or anything if you're in the right. Because you dotted all your I's and you crossed all your T's. They just used to, they're used to the manipulative practices. But when they met their match and they see that things are not as though they are, that's when they realize it's time to pull out. It's time to let go because you're driving yourself crazy. It don't make sense. How did this person still have the same uh, energy? Because the energy was real from the very beginning. The energy was real from the very beginning. And with that being said, shiners, the power that we have within ourselves, listen, just put the script together in your head and know that you know, don't change, don't add to, don't take from, don't manipulate. Because guess what? When we become the manipulators, the chosen ones, even if we have to deal with the chaos of the, the vibration of negativity constantly getting on our nerves, because that's all it's doing. It's not doing anything else but pissing us off. We have to learn that if we don't let that go, we don't want to become like that. They're, they're actually showing us what not to do, how not to be. Now, when we get in that position, we hold the power, and the script is within us. The script is what we walk. We don't even need facts. Well, we do need facts, but I'm just saying we don't need proof to show that the facts exist because the fact is in the detail. And that's what they teach in law school. In law school, they teach you that the elements of the reasonable doubt is actually within the concepts of the responses. <laughs> this is how people are, and this is how that judge was able to show that Mr. Little was not about his business. That Mr. Little, and you only need 50%, 49% proof to show beyond a reasonable doubt that this person has the opportunity to say and be who you say they are. In a court of law, in a court of the medical field, in a court of le legalities. Listen, God is already on your side when you walk in that door. Mm -hmm. Understand the process. For those who are in relationships, let me tell you, shiners, y'all going to go through some things because right now this is the time and the elemental areas where people are going to be manipulating and playing the game, trying to get into, find out who you are. Now that they hear and they see and they they got a, 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 a intriguing expectation of possibly could this be. People are going to start lying and to be in a relationship just to find out who you are, to see if there's any possible way that a manipulative opportunity can be taken advantage of. So be aware of that, Shiners, because that's another way that the devil tries to play the little game in which they do in order to get you off your guard, take you out of your dimension, put you in a position where they are in control. And that's all it is that they want. You will have children ghosting you, what they ghosting for. If they were real and genuine, they would be showing their faces. If they were real and genuine, they would not be abusing and misusing something that they want to believe is the truth, which they know is a lie, and that's the reprobation that comes inside of the mindset of an individual who refuses to help themselves. That's why I say we can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink it. We could tell the truth to our loved ones. And if they're not willing to take the advice, if they're not willing to take that path that's going to lead them to maturity, even though there's going to be issues in that path that they may not feel comfortable with, then lead their ass with the group. Go, on the, go to the group rate. All y'all can go to hell. And there will be no immediate emotion other than, oh, they went to hell. Okay, they're in hell. They had an opportunity. 
They weren't like some of the victims who truly had no life lessons. Nobody taught him anything. And I can't believe that this world would ever have an individual who has never been taught something good by some one person, whether it's the elementary school teacher, whether it's a bum on the corner, whether it's a, you know, person at the grocery store, you pumping gas, you hear a side conversation to somebody on their phone. We're going to find the reality of things that will lead us to a better life. So that's a bunch of crock too. And right now me and, 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 and fueling off of giving hope and providing support and providing, I've done, you know, positive things for a very long time in my life. But one thing I can say, even in my most negative days, my consequences weren't nearly as severe as someone's best day in a hell wind circumstance of chaos and manipulation and narcissism on a good day. My worst consequence on a bad day in my life has never come out to match that of a narcissist who lies and waits in jealousy, envy, and, and negativity and fuels and lives in it. It smells, it's, you can smell negativity from a, a mile away. You can smell it. So the peace within us, shiners, should be one of the things that we should motivate ourselves with because many people will try to, you know, provoke us. But again, if you remember the script, stay connected to the script. What's going to happen is these people are going to lose energy because the energy is fueled off of you. Shiners, if you don't provide the energy, guess what? They're going to die out. They're going to be unable to keep up with the energy. It just won't happen. But as long as it's negativity feeding and fueling it, oh yeah, they got all types of vibration and energy. I remember a time where I would argue and debate, 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 debate. And I would use hours upon hours trying to get this person to resonate with what I was saying. They knew what the hell they, they were doing. They were distracting me and they were devoiding me of all the good things that I could be telling even myself, embracing peace within my own energy. But this is a new day. This is a new dawn. This is a new decade. This is a new generation. And the chosen ones are awake fully. Maybe the first time, yeah, we got knocked down. We, we believe we were crazy. We weren't crazy. We were inside of sanity. And being inside of sanity, yeah, baby. All kind of craziness go on. But just observe it. And before you know it, your enemies will be your footstool, making sure everything is right for you, making sure pathways are open for you. They'll be shoveling shit just to get you through. Okay? Trust and know this. I've seen it happen. The most highs respected will always be protected. And people will shun you. People will shut down their mouths. You'll walk into a room and you'll hear, you hear a pin drop. Because they know the power in which you hold if you are genuinely and really a remarkable human being. A universal human being. And I'm telling you, follow the script and stay 10 to 20 steps ahead of these devils. They'll never get to catch up with you. They'll get tired. They'll get tired. And you'll see them. They won't even be able to provide you with the fakeness for too long, you're going to be able to resonate with that. Like, now why'd they just say that? That's a, that's a confirmation. I kept my phones on because I want every single ding to be a com confirmation of what I'm speaking. And I know I'm on the right path. Anyway, they'll be like, mm, how did they know that? <laughs> I know it because I'm looking right through you and can see plainly. 
transparent you are. Transparent you are. If I could label this topic, it would be transparent you are. You're so transparent, I can see through you in in the invisible world. I can see through you in the invisible world. I can tell you your next moves. And that's what happens, Shiners, when we come out from among those groups of of people who got to use a hundred minds in order to create one simple solution to something that is going to be smacked right in their face, smacked back in their face. Um, One thing that I notice is it takes a whole group effort with some clowns, some monkeys, some liars, some cheaters, some scandalers, some people that just sit back to be the observer, to just learn more of how to make it different, only for them all to fail at one time. They're going to all fall down. London Bridge falling down. So let me tell y'all, You better know what side you on because this is the day of reckoning. And we're not talking about the night of the dark soul. We talking about the wise, the wisdom, the embracing of knowledge and understanding and, 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 and wisdom and, you know, refinement. And if you ain't on this side, you going on over there with them damn devils, leave the chosen ones alone. Okay, because God going to show you up for everything you do. And shiners, we going to sit back and look and observe. And we bet not take them back. Let them burn in hell. Let that energy burn in hell. We don't need it. We need a better society. We need a genuine society. We need a society that is going to at least be 50 percent correct. Not just to take advantage of the weak minded, not just to take advantage of those who are in poverty and impoverished or, you know, unable to do something. I was watching a faith show the other day and it happened to do with a woman who was very well off, very rich woman. And she was African-American and there was an African-American woman who came into her home to clean her home. So in this day, it just so happens that the the. Uh, cleaner had to bring her daughter because her daughter's daycare provider dipped on her. Well, she showed up for work. Unlike Mr. Little, Mr. Little showed up in the court hearing just because he said, at least I'm here. But you violated all your probation and then you did it in order to get housing because you can't be a felon with a fleeing warrant to get housing. So you did it for selfish reasons. Back to this other movie. So this young lady was, you know, showing up for work and she's like, I understand. I'm going to give her something to eat real quick. And then I'm going to put her in her stroller and I'm going to do the same work that I would do if she was not here. Do you know that that rich woman, that African-American sister, be careful who we call sisters in today's society, That African-American woman picked up the phone and called the supervisor of this girl's job after she had just begged this woman. Ma'am, if you call, this is the last thing I have. I can barely pay my bills now. Please just let me do my job. She said this, this, the owner, the, the, you know, owner of the home. She said, get your supervisor. I'm calling the supervisor. This woman degraded this young cleaner with this child, she degraded her with everything she had, made her lose her job, and then threw her out. This woman had to panhandle with her child. She got evicted from her um, apartment, and she just was, she was trying her best. She wasn't complaining. She wasn't judging. She wasn't trying to get something for nothing like these peons do today. She was really and genuinely trying to support herself. 
But God blessed her with the right person at the right time to come into her life because she was willing and accepting for the help. Now, anyone who recognizes what the Most High is going to do in your life, you recognize when the help is on the way. You don't judge them. <laughs> you don't you you don't minusculely degrade them to where they look less than for you to look better than to get something for nothing. No, that's not how you do it. What you do is you pray for the most high to instill in you the empowerment necessary for you to establish what it is you're trying to do if you even understand. But if you're in that manipulative standpoint, if you're in that narcissistic tendency, then you're going to always be fighting with the inner demon within yourself back to this lady. So she's panhandling with her daughter and she's eating pizza out of a box that was left for someone to eat. And uh, she sleeps in the park and this one lady shows up and she's like, listen, all I got is $20. I'm living off of welfare myself. But I went to this grocery store and I played the number and the lady gave me two tickets to this number. So I'm going to give you one of the tickets and I'm going to take one of the tickets. The, the jackpot is $1.3 billion. If you, if we win, you get half, I get half. They shook on it. She gave her her last $20 bill. Do you know the very next day that woman ends up hitting the lottery? Half of $1.3 billion. So she's riding down the street, her daughter in their brand new BMW. <laughs> and she stops at a stop sign. And who but the woman who called her boss and got her fired was panhandling because now the tables have turned. So now this woman asks, don't even recognize who the girl is. That's how selfish and self-centered the ego will have us sometimes. Okay. Especially when we're in our addiction, we think we all above and beyond everybody. Listen. Hey, confirmation. Funny how the tables turn up. Hey. Hey. <laughs> that right there was confirmation. You got to forgive him. But don't remember. But, but, but forgive, but don't forget. Okay? So... Back to the lady, lo and behold, at the light, the lady tells her, she's like, you don't remember me. I'm the one you, that you got fired. I'm the one, the little girl back here, that was the one I was holding when you called my boss and told my boss that, you know, to fire me. She was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She's like, how did you get in this position where you're driving a brand new BMW because the most high was watching it all go down, right? So then here comes the lady who's in the BMW who asked this woman, how did you fall from grace? She said her husband left her <laughs> and she was left with nothing. And now she's been out there for three weeks panhandling. This woman who won the lottery ends up getting a nonprofit organization that helps people in situations like hers. So she brought her in. She brought her in. I would never keep her close. I would keep her far away. I would keep her at a distance. But look at how God turned that whole equation around. Now, if this woman really and genuinely learned her lesson, then possibly, hopefully, she's able to give hope to someone else. Because now... You have been taught that when God moves, it's very mysteriously. And when you lying on people and cheating on people and trying to break them, their, their money flow down, when you're trying to destroy their destiny, when you're trying to block their money flow, you blocking yours because you never know what they got in the fire. That's why shiners 
We keep a hundred different irons in the fire. That way, if a devil do try to move the wrong way, that snake going to bite it because you got something else happening. Always. And never know. Never let anyone know your intricate moves. Never. Because you will see the devil, the, the, the most high will show you the devil in the details every time. I just had to get on and I had to vent y'all. I had to tell you signers, you are being thought about. All these things that's coming to make you greater later is going to really put you at a standard. Just keep your script. And you know what? You don't even got to change the content of the script, it, it, that content can stay the same every time. But when the devil tries to play a different role, you move that script to fit that particular character. And don't forget, the devil is going to put the details in there to show you that it's the devil. So when the good people do show up, when the power does come into your life to help another, you will not do it in vain transparent you are. Thank you so much, Shiners, for being here. Thank you, manipulators, narcissists, silent listeners who's looking for your good and it's making sense and you're just working on yourself and the silent listeners using it for whatever they think they can think they can figure out what my next moves are. Guess what? You will never think it because I'm a million light years away from you. It will never, ever, we will never be in the same circles, ever. So get this through your head. It is best for you to just come on this path of the narrow. Go ahead, reverse back. Tell your, tell your hooligans goodbye. Tell the circus you got to go. You got to go work on your life and go fix it or continue to just keep messing up. But whatever you do, whether you ghost your parents, whether you disrespect because somebody didn't pay the cost to be the boss, whether somebody didn't got in your head and told you all this stuff is going to be what it is, believe what you want to believe. But remember when the consequence hits and, and you sitting down there in the devil's den by yourself, because either way, we got to go there. We got to go through that tunnel too. When you at the devil's den, all the people who mattered, who told you is going to come up and rise up in your face and you're going to see them because it's all a dream, right? Ain't that how y'all think? It's all a dream anyway. So yeah, keep it real. Keep it 100. Thank you, Shiners, for being here. Thank you for being consistent. Thank you for showing up in your own lives because you're making this society a better place. Keep rocking in the shoes you're walking in. I love you so much, Shiners. Keep fighting through the challenges. These devils ain't doing nothing. We know every single step that they're making. Even when they tell you to your face, even after you've helped them, that you ain't good enough for them. They're in hell anyway. Let them stay there. That's where they want to play. Let them burn, baby burn. <laughs> Peace and we'll see you next time.